the Hold Frame modifier allows you to freeze an image according to a given time. By adding it to the sequence of a man walking through a forest, we can see that this modifier contains only a single parameter, defining the image we are going to freeze. Like most temporal parameters, this image can be defined by its time code, the number of frames, or a time in seconds. By setting this value beyond the video's initial duration, we see that we retain the last frame. This behavior is not dependent on the modifier, but on the reader reading the mp4 file with the after parameter set to hold mode. By switching this parameter to loop mode, we can return to the hold frame modifier and exceed this original duration and play this video in a loop. As this parameter can be animated, it can be used in a similar way to a time remap used on a layer. All you need to do is to place a few keyframes to move forward in the video and then back again. But the purpose of whole frame is more generally to freeze a single frame, as in this case, the last frame of this video file. By turning off this modifier, we can see that the camera that filmed this shot was not completely still but slightly rotated, pointing towards the sky. To freeze the trees, let's duplicate this layer, which will duplicate the whole frame, and remove it from this new layer. Select this duplicate and choose the Shapes tool to create a new mask that will reveal only the walker inside it. Hiding the layer at the bottom gives us a better view of the mask so that we can adjust it. The fill style used by the shapes generator is a global feather parameter to progressively make the edges of this mask transparent. By displaying the layer at the bottom of the stack, we can see that we have frozen the leaves. Here, we see again the slight vertical movement we noticed earlier. We will compensate for this by moving to the last frame of the animation and adding a first position keyframe. By moving back to the beginning of the composition, we can now move this layer to follow the movement. A second key is automatically added, and we now have a working man in an almost static forest.